there was ever deer destined to be taken by this guy right here, that had to be him. God, missed him again. For Pear Flat philosopher and host Larry Wiseoon, there's South Texas, and then there's all the rest of the planet. And now it's the very best of South Texas Whitetail on this very special installment of Winchester's World of Whitetail. Not only is it a big body deer, it's the buck we're after. Winchester's World of Whitetail is brought to you by the Dallas Safari Club, promoting conservation, education, and ethical hunting worldwide. Nikon, the trusted name in optics. Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. Thompson Center, America's master gun maker. Cabela's, the world's foremost outfitter. The Buck Bomb, blows away traditional scents. Bad Boy Buggies, they'll never hear you coming. And by Remote Locations, Secrets of Making Outdoor TV, a 150-page full-color book from Orion Multimedia. Order by phone 1-800-850-9453. This may be South Texas to some, but for Mr. Whitetail, it's the land of Wazoon and his favorite place on earth to chase the game he acknowledges as his world favorite. I dearly love hunting whitetail deer. It's, it's, it's truly obvious, and I get an opportunity to hunt a lot of places, and a lot of good places. The first stop for Wazoon on the special Best of South Texas edition of Winchester's World of Whitetail is Lone Star Outfitters on the Escondido Ranch below Old San Antonio. South Texas has a tremendous, tremendous variety of brush species, all of which seem to work good for whitetail deer nutrition, not to mention all the little weeds and forbs that we have, and especially in a wet year, such as we have this year. On the first leg of the special, Wyzoon's shouldering the arduous task of hunting with Pam Zates. Zates is not only an accomplished big game hunter, she's also a successful entrepreneur and founder of She Outdoor Apparel. Down here in South Texas, in December, if you can get any kind of a cool spell, it generally really turns those bucks on. It's amazing what comes out of the woodwork. I was sitting in a stand, and I, it was very obvious that the bucks were moving. Just before daylight, we saw a buck that was an absolute shooter. He came in, but he was chasing a doe. I, I got about a minute look at him, and he was gone again. I thought he would come around again, and he never did. Lifetime buck, buck of my dreams. Where does he show up? Right at this Pam stand. <laughs> he is huge. Oh my gosh. Brian and the boys are gonna die when they see this. Look at that. One, two, three, four. Look at the jump, look at that. Oh my gosh. By letting Pam Zates take a world-class whitetail, Wizoon proves that chivalry is not dead. It remains to be seen, though, if his good deed will be repaid. 
One thing's for sure, no matter how it turns out, this next buck isn't going to be a gimme for Mr. Whitetail. Deer coming right here, right straight ahead. Now, I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I'm kind of a sucker for drop times, and he's chasing the doe. He's gonna come right there. He's gonna, he's gonna stop, he's stopping, he's stopping. Now, if you've ever shot a pistol before and you have it scoped, you know that it's a long eye relief scope. That means that you have to extend your arms almost the full length so that you can see the full capabilities of that scope. I missed him. I can't believe I missed him. He's standing there. Now he's moving. He's moving. God, missed him again. I saw branches shake. He jumped. Oh, God. Oh, golly. I can't believe this. And I see he kind of jumps up like this a little bit, and I think, well, maybe I did get him. I saw it with my, my left eye. So I wait a little bit and go on down and just, you know, please, Lord, maybe down there right somewhere, and I get on his tracks, and guess what? There's no blood. There's no hair. There's no deer. Golly. I can't believe that. Well... Best thing to do is just crawl back up here and try it again. I look around and some other young bucks start showing up again. The rut is kicking in. Guess what? It's the buck that I just shot at over here. There's no doubt he's got that exact drop time. And I'm going, oh my God, I can't believe we're seeing the same buck. I can't believe this buck. Finally, he runs off, and I go, oh, God, there went the last chance. You know, I couldn't get on him fast enough out here anywhere. Come on, give me one more chance. Okay. Here comes that buck. He's walking right down the road. Gosh, I missed again. I missed the blasted deer again. Again, madly, I am searching for another round because I don't miss with this pistol normally. Oh, he's down. He's down. I can't believe it. He's down. And if there was ever deer destined to be taken by this guy right here, that had to be him. Oh man, what a gorgeous old deer. What a hunt. <laughs> what a hunt. I, I don't think, I, I never forget a hunt, but this is one I will never in my life forget. Shot at him, missed, shot at him, missed. He disappeared, shot at him, missed. Finally take him. What a hunt. Walt and I loaded the deer and hit him back to camp and I was, I wasn't too sure whether one of the fans would be there immediately or whether I had to go find her to show this deer, but, but there she is. She's waiting on me to come back in. Apparently she'd heard all the shooting that I had done. Let me see, I heard the shots. How many did you hear? Well, I didn't want to say, I didn't want to ask, but I heard a couple. For Wazoon, the only shot that really counts is the last one. Now with this great deer back in camp, it's time for the cameras to start clicking before Mr. Whitetail moves on to tell us how to judge when a deer has reached full maturity and to take a management buck that would be a trophy anywhere but South Texas.
Timing's everything. And with Whitetail, the time when a buck comes of age and starts putting his growth into his antlers is a critical piece of information, as we see on Larry's World of Management. Impressive, good-looking buck, isn't he? You know, as a wildlife biologist, so very often I'm asked, when is the best time to take a whitetail deer? When are they going to have their best antlers? Interestingly, you need to know something about your particular deer herd, your area. If you live up north, in the northern half of North America, whitetail bucks up there tend to bodily mature, meaning all their long bones are grown at three-year-olds. If you get into the southern climes, our bucks in South Texas and elsewhere, they tend to mature at four years old. That means all their long bones are grown, their skeleton system is complete, so that anything in terms of nutrition that they eat that's not needed simply for maintenance, at that point can be channeled into antler development. So you take that buck, say, at a, at a three-year-old or four-year-old like this, maybe a 130, 135, or are you going to give that deer a chance to grow up to where he looks maybe something unto like this at a six, seven, eight year old type buck. You know, once all those long bones are grown, the only long bones he's growing are these right here. I think I'd rather wait till that buck got about to this stage. Pretty impressive deer. On the 9,000 acre Perlitz Ranch in the famed white-tailed Golden Triangle of South Texas, size and age matter. A working cattle ranch and a premier hunting destination for white-tailed deer, Perlitz Ranch follows a rigorous management program with its deer herd to achieve exceptional antler size. And that's where Wizoon comes in today as he uses his experienced eye to help him set his sights on one particular old buck that most hunters would classify as a genuine trophy, but that in South Texas is one that needs to be removed from the herd. came down to the last morning and I am wondering, you know, are we gonna even see this deer? And I'm sitting there and the deer start coming in and out of the field a little bit and I'm watching some deer out in front of me and I keep looking around and I know there's this old food plot back over here, but really hadn't seen a whole lot in there. So I'm looking around and looking around and let them look back. Oh yeah, there's a doe and a fawn out in the field and I'm looking, oh there's a nice buck way down there getting ready to come to water. And I glass it and probably a total of about seven, eight, nine, ten seconds pass from the time that I've looked out here in this field. And I just happen to look back and there's a big body deer there. Oh my God, that's him. I think it is. And I put the binox up. Not only is it a big body deer, it's the buck we're after. That's him. There's no doubt about it. I am sure, there is no doubt, he's got a particular big frame, eight point style rack. Now I know that that 308 shoots extremely well. Come around, center of the crosshair is high on the shoulder. Oh my God, please make this bullet go through. Oh, he's down. He's down. He is down. He's not going anywhere. Oh, man. Walk. He goes down. He goes down just like that. Hardly ever even kicks. And finally, on the last morning, with very little time left before I have to leave, I got to take the deer that I was after. Oh, my gosh. He's even a lot more massive than I imagined, too. Oh, man, oh, man. Oh, I'm busy. Oh, he's an old deer, too. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah. To me, there's nothing more fun than to get after one particular old buck. And if you take him, great. If you don't, let him win. This time, we came out a winner. Oh, man. As exciting as it is to take a special buck, 
Even more special bucks are the ones you help others take. Now with this old eight point on its way to the ranch house, Wisehoon will turn his attention to one of the most profound experiences any hunter can have as he carries his grandsons out to the blind with him so they can learn the meaning of hunting South Texas deer on Winchester's World of Whitetail. Winchester's World of Whitetail is brought to you by the Dallas Safari Club, promoting conservation, education, and ethical hunting worldwide. Nikon, the trusted name in optics. Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. Thompson Center, America's master gunmaker. Cabela's, the world's foremost outfitter. The Buck Bomb, blows away traditional sense. Bad Boy Buggies, they'll never hear you coming. And by Wild Game Innovations. Nutrition, attraction, and action. Of all the joys of hunting whitetail in South Texas, the greatest for Larry Wiseman is the opportunity it gives him every year to bring his grandsons with him into the field and mentor them in the ways of deer. But I think Without a doubt, one of my favorite hunts every year is the hunt that I get to do with my grandsons. And the beauty of Texas is, is that there's something going on all the time in the fact that there's coyotes, there's bobcats, there's javelinas, there's white-tailed deer. So there's action happening all the time. It makes it so much more interesting for those kids. to get in the blind. Oh, I was so excited. It's my turn. made me really excited because I knew that one of them would be mine. I want to look at him and be sure that he's old enough to shoot because we want it to be at least three years of age. If he ever steps clear, right now he's right behind that other deer and there's another deer behind him. Shoot, don't shoot yet, just a minute. kind of because it was like my best deer I felt like I felt really good oh, yeah. Justin he looks better all the time that is a beautiful deer young man let me have the gun count you want to see how many points he's got one two three four one two three four yep I got a three point that is absolutely beautiful 
What do you think about that? Yeah, it's going on my wall. You're going on your wall? Hunting, I think, to them, particularly white-tailed deer, is almost a secondary nature thing, and hopefully they look forward as much to the hunt each year with me as I do with them. The world of whitetail is long and wide with many, many special places. But for at least one hunter, the one they call Mr. Whitetail, the most special is South Texas, where he hails from and where he learned the art of hunting whitetail. Proven that for Larry Wiseoon, there's no place like home. <laughs> 